Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, the 28th to Friday, the 29th of September. So 28th, 29th. We're just going to go intuitively with these cards. This is like an oracle deck, but it works fine. So I think it's called Energy something. Energy. Energy. Look up energy cards or whatever. Energy oracle. Yeah, something like that. I don't know where my boxes are. Anyway, oh, I do, but I'm not going to get them. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So here we are. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Ooh. Truth. This is the throat chakra. Okay, fifth chakra. This is communication. Um, somebody may be communicating their true feelings. Okay, that could or some kind of communication. Somebody is speaking up. Okay, you see it's illuminating his throat. This is also uh, the throat chakra. Chakra is ruled by Taurus. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so there's there's some sort of communication by the looks of things that is coming through. And it's honest communication. Ooh, man holding coin. Interesting. Somebody has an offer. We have a man here that has an offer. Goddess of the moon. Harvest time. Woohoo! Door to romance. All right. I'm going to try to keep myself under control here. Okay. We have an 11. We have 33. I was adding this one up. It adds to 12, which 1 plus 2 equals 3. This is a 7. This is a 7. So we have a divine connection here that you have been praying for, and your prayers have been heard. Okay. Your thoughts truly do become things. I mean, I'm just, I'm so numerology, okay? So I just have to tell you that it's harvest time. It's time to re reap your rewards, okay? And it does look like we have a man that is probably going to make an offer. This man does have something to offer, and um, he's going to be communicating. You're going to receive some sort of truth from this man, um, some sort of whatever it is, he's gonna, there's communication coming from this man. It's something that, um, you have been wishing for. Patience! Yes, it takes another seven. Well, it's 16, but it's another, it's divinely guided. Seven, seven, seven. I, I'm a numerology person. Okay, so it is divinely guided. Seven is the number from heaven. And three, 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 your prayers have been heard. So, oh, son of a God, another three. Well, it says 21, but um, another three. Um, broken heart, closure. Nines are closure. So we've had this broken heart. And now it's time to detach from that. But we're going to get this focused in. Or aligned, whatever you want to call it going to turn this light off so that we get rid of some of this glare. I don't know if I should turn it back on or what. I think I will. <laughs> yeah, I like that better. Um, so anyway. Oh, this man's been coming up with a strategy. No way. No way. So some, we have a man that has, has been coming up with a plan, okay? He's been coming up with a plan. <clears throat> of how and what he is going to communicate, okay? He's been trying to... Um, strategize on when and how he was going to or he is going to mend a broken heart okay um, there is some sort of new door opening after there has been a serious
heartbreak, okay? There has. There's been some serious heartbreak here. But it feels as though this, this period of heartbreak Is, is coming to an end, okay? It's, it's coming to an end. Nine's a closure, okay? So it is. It's, it's coming. Closure. Closure. All right? So it's coming to an end. You're about to receive some sort of reward after you face your fears because this is goddess of the moon. The moon is about fears, okay? It is. You face your fears. We've had this card multiple times with this deck. It's like, it's like the third time. I want... You know, as soon as you face your fears and walk through that gate, you walk down that new path. If you see the path keeps going, as soon as you face your fears and you decide to walk that new path, it's like this door down at the end of this path is, is romance, okay? I feel, I feel that this is a manifested new beginning. I do. I feel like... Um, Somebody needed to actually take that mask off and detach, break the chains. Break the chains from this broken heart. You know, the chains needed to be broken. In order to truly break those chains, you truly have to walk down that new path. So I, I feel like because somebody has or is, you know, facing their fears perhaps they are receiving some sort of reward and an opportunity for new romance there is there is a there's a door to romance opening and this this door is this this man it's like he has he has the key he has the key to open your heart again you know to help you you know To help you uh, drop that mask. This man has what it takes to reopen your broken heart. It is totally, absolutely, positively harvest time. So, um, somebody has done a lot of healing. They have. I mean, this is a, when I see that this is like the temperance card. I mean, it's not the temperance card, but when I see it, I think of the temperance card. Okay. It does say patience. So this is, um, purpose. It's purpose. It's patience. It's temperance. Okay. It's. When the t divine timing, it is divine timing. So I feel, and it is the seven, so it is divinely guided. Like I said, it is, the time is now for this, for the universe, I would say. The universe is involved here. The universe is involved here. The time is, in, is now for somebody to receive, receive the solid offer that they have been praying for, okay? So rest assured that if you have went through a, a tough time, a broken heart, and had been reluctant to broaden your horizons, but decided to face your fears and step beyond your comfort zone, the universe is probably saying, okay, your time is now. The time is now. So I feel whoever this man is, we need to get some clarifiers here. Um, what deck am I going to use for clarifiers? I haven't used this deck in a while. Um, there's going to be, you're going to receive some sort of communication from a man that has been divinely guided into your life at this time. To reopen that door of romance. Now, if you are a man, if you are a man, you you may still need to detach from a woman. 
okay? Because we have a woman that you're still attached to. And your heart could still be broken if you were a man or a woman. If you're a man or a woman, you're you're healing. This broken heart, at least it's not totally ripped apart. It's healing. It's, it's, it's coming back together here. So if you are a man, you may be thinking about offering, making an offer to some sort of goddess. I mean, just saying. If you are a man, you may be the one that's offering this gift to this woman who had a broken heart. I mean, you could be that man, right? So, there's a lot of mystery here. There is definitely a mystery. And I think that there's a mysterious connection. It is very mysterious, isn't it? It is. But it, when it is divinely guided, it is mysterious, okay? So there is definitely, um, this is a blessing. It is. It's, it's a blessed union that is coming about. This is, this is, it, it truly is. So, um, a new cycle, a new cycle is beginning. The script this, I just saw the script. I mean, this is what just came to me. It's part of the script. Divine timing, it's part of the script. You can't, it's when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Oh my goodness. Temperance. We just talked about that. Yeah, divine timing. The time is now. The time is absolutely now. Everything that has happened, happened like it did for a reason. And now it's like there's been some sort of transition that is bringing somebody um, out. It's bringing somebody out of a, it's like miserable situation. Really, it is. It's like, it's going, there's some sort of help arriving by the looks of things. That's what I think this is. I think that there is somebody coming in to reopen your heart after there has been a false soulmate connection that didn't evolve this is like deja vu. I, I don't even know. I feel like I've done this reading before. I don't even know where this shit is coming from, but I feel like I have done this reading before. This is like, this is like I've done this reading before. This is fucked up. Excuse my language. It's like I already know the outcome. There is somebody coming in. There is somebody coming in to help you heal after you have been in a false soulmate connection. They're helping you to release the bitterness and the resentment and break the attachment from your broken heart that you know the, the, that it was caused. This is. The time is now to receive the stability and the security. These are basically the same person, okay? To receive the, the stability and the security and the love that you deserve. So, you know, I feel like there's been a period of loneliness that somebody has been living in because they were hanging on to a false soulmate uh, contract. But probably with the the moon that we just had the the full moon the set the what was it september 24th full moon this contract was released and now the new door is opening it's like the universe is is said okay you've made this transition with the full moon and now we are bringing in your divine partner your true divine partner so, um, 
this person that is coming in is is very loyal, genuine, generous, um, stable, secure. Um, has money to take care of you. This person can take very, very good care of you. And they will un unlock your broken heart. They will open up your heart again. So, you know, I just, it's, this is totally, absolutely, positively divine timing here. Okay, it really is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm to the point where I'm absolutely speechless because I, I just feel like somebody has transitioned from one phase to another. And now there is an opportunity with somebody that they've heard, they've heard, they've heard. I mean, I can't stress that enough. The, the, uh, the gods, the universe, angels, spirits, they have heard. They've heard. They've been watching. They've been waiting for the right time, and the time is now. I do not know who this is for, but um, your broken heart is about to be put back together by another person that has been divinely guided to come into your life at this time to help you heal. The transition happened during this last full moon. It did. And now it's time for you to, I mean, extreme happiness with cornucopia. I mean, it really is. The best of everything. The time is ripe for romance. Somebody has been closed off and bitter because of their broken heart this person is coming in to help you heal because you have released this false contract with that full moon and if it and if you haven't then i don't know who this is for i mean this will not resonate with everybody but i receive their i receive <laughs> i do receive i do receive but anyway i um Oh my goodness, I I see that there is going to be some communication that comes in that releases an attachment that you had to the past. I mean, I can't, I mean, I can't really go any further with this because I already know, I already know that the time is now, the time is now, I mean, the time is now for you to receive the the best of the best, okay? So the best of the best is coming because you did some sort of release with the full moon. Whether you did it subconsciously or not, okay? There's been some sort of healing with that full moon and it was healing from a false contract, So, if that's what's happened, and this reading is for you, be prepared for a new romance to start that is divinely guided and that the universe has heard you dreaming of, wishing for, praying for. We have these sevens and we have these threes. Your prayers have been heard and the divine says the time is now. part of the script it is absolutely part of the script this man is part of the script <laughs> let's get one of these just because I mean it just feels like I've I've done this reading before I've seen this before I have seen this before it's like it's this is no secret it really isn't. This is no secret. It's like I knew this was coming. I knew this was it. It's I've done this reading before. And you know that's crazy shit, isn't it? It seems like I don't know what this is. Um This person's gonna allow you to release some of the bitterness, the attachment. I mean, these are kind of like the same person. 
some of that inner conflict within you. This person is going to just bring it right out of you. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. The journey might be hard right now, but great but a great view awaits you. You must certainly you most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if it sometimes seems that you are going up three steps and falling back two, you are still getting closer to your goal. Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. And when you arrive, <laughs> the view will be spectacular, which I am absolutely sure of. It will be worth all your hard effort, all the suffering that you have been through, this broken heart. It happened for a purpose. The temperance is a card of purpose so that you could be ready, ready for this divine connection. You have to go through certain lessons to get there. You do, you do. But the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all of your hard effort. It's okay to stumble or fall down. Just don't stay down. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even by your own limited beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fearlessly. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. You are a light bearer for others. Keep going forward because face your fears. Go through this gate. If you haven't done it yet, go through the gate. Face, because the moon is about fears, it is. Go through the gate. Go through this transformation. Go through this, transi this transition so the divine can bring you this wonderful person. So anyway, um, there's a door opening for those of you that have ascended the mountain. You've faced your fears. You've transitioned. You've released. There's a door opening to romance. This person is going to help you with the rest of your healing journey. For those of you that have not opened the door, keep going. Face your fears. Allow yourself to evolve. It's part of the plan. Be honest with yourself. Speak your truth. You are going, this is, I mean, these, you could say all of these were kind of like the same person. Because this is kind of like earth energy. So, it is. Okay, he's holding a coin. He's got something serious and solid to offer. And it's something you've been patiently waiting for. But anyway, I don't know who this is for, but I'm pretty sure it's for me. <laughs> so, and I just wanted to bring that up. There will be some people that say that, Jennifer, those readings are for you. Do you think that I shouldn't be included in any of these readings for you people that comment that? I should do readings for everybody else and not have my, not, not be included? So yes, some of these readings do resonate with me. Not all of them. No. But I'm honest with myself. Some of them are going to not resonate and some of them are but I am human just like the rest of you so sometimes my situations are going to come up in these readings I'd be a fool to pretend that they don't this reading is for many people and this reading may not be for me, but because of that deja vu that I had, I'm pretty certain that it is. You know, I think it feels like I had a dream about this reading probably three years ago. And that's what I'm, I, it's like I, I, it's almost like I woke up in the middle of the night and saw this reading. It's crazy. 
That's crazy. And I've had deja vu my whole life. That's another that's another topic, okay? I have. So that's another whole story. But um Whatever it is that you've been praying for, the divine is saying, okay, your wish is my command. 